Vibro Crystal Research Time. It seems like we are the only person for the job. I'm a little worried. It's a domain. Why are you doing this to me, Pat? Lose my life. What are we doing? No, you're gonna pay us more. Hey guys, I'm struggling just a little bit. up welcome back to my channel i've just filmed a bunch of violet garden videos so i'm like kind of sleepy but it's vibro crystal research time apparently so we're gonna we're just gonna go through the we're gonna go through i think the event like just started i'm gonna try to keep up to date on this one i meant to do that for violet garden and all the other ones but i've said this a million times already i'm like a broken record i got very sick and lost my voice i didn't even lose it honestly i just couldn't talk Anyways, that's like losing your voice. Anyways, we're gonna do this, I swear. Anyways, the researcher from Fontaine is presently on the outskirts of the chasm. Ooh, I have not finished the chasm. I mean, I'll lose some primos, but I don't plan on wailing next update, so. Anyways, a researcher from Fontaine is presently on the outskirts of the chasm studying the harmonic motion between gems known as vibro crystals. Connect transmitter and receiver crystals and attempt to produce various effects that will allow you to defeat foes with ease. Why does this sound like the potion event? That scares me. It scares me just a little bit. Um, but we're gonna go to the Lua Adventurers Guild, I guess. Um, I'm nervous. I am. It's always the Lua Adventurers Guild. Let's go talk to Catherine. My game is glitching right now. I will say that as well because I've been playing for a couple hours and I don't know why, but it's starting to glitch. But like, because my ping is fine. You know, it, it did peak 200 a little or a little early. Yeah, I don't know what's going on there, but I'm going to pretend I don't see it. All right. I will be playing all the parts. It looks like I probably will have to take some cough breaks, not coffee breaks, but coughing breaks. Anyways, I've been waiting for you, traveler. It's always Catherine. Recently, the Adventurer's Guild has received a rather important commission. Judging from my experience, you are the best person for the job. Catherine, it seems like we are the only person for the job. An important commission, you say? Well, this sounds familiar. Oh, come on. Don't worry, Catherine. We're used to it already. And you wouldn't have troubled us if the rewards weren't worth it either, right? It's literally, it's like, it's not that, listen, the rewards don't look that boosted. There's no crowns. There's not, it's just primos and like other little things. Well, that is true as expected of the two of you, as straightforward as ever. Well then, I will get straight to the point as well. The person who gave this commission out is named Patrice and he is a researcher from Fontaine. He hopes to get a few assistants to help him conduct his studies. He is presently inspecting the outskirts of the chasm. Although we were not given a great amount of detail concerning the nature of this research, I believe that you are quite used to such commissions. It's true, Catherine. Like I said, it sounds like the potion event and the other one with the guy from Sumeru that I can't remember the name of right now. Well, let's do it like we always do. First up to the chasm. This might get dicey. Look for Patrice near the chasm. It's we're in the chasm. Okay, it is on the outskirts, so we shouldn't have a problem, but I'm a little worried because we haven't finished the chasm. If anything, we'll be thrown into like a quest bit for the world quest prior to the Archon quest because I haven't been able to finish that yet. Just we need to stop glitching and that would be lovely. That's more of our, it's a domain. Yeah, this is, this is going to be fun. I say that with so much sarcasm and cynicism, this should be in. Something's trying to fight me and I'm probably going to have to fight these hilly trails before I can talk to Patrice. Pat, why are you doing this to me, Pat? Bye. Goodbye. Good night. You're done. Okay. Oh God. We're glitched. Okay, we're fine. My game has had it with me. It's like, please go to sleep. It's like midnight. Hi, Patrice. Kind of cool looking. That hair? Like the hair? It's kind of cool. Like the undercut? It's kind of cool looking. I'm not going to lie. We can't have any more delays. We need to move on to the verification stage as soon as possible. Yeah, this sounds like a lot of other events. Worst comes to worst, I'll do it myself. Anyways, research halted temporarily due to accidental injury. I think that'll buy me some time. Are you trying to get an extension on an assignment, dude? Like... Also, why is he wearing a long sleeve shirt underneath his like short sleeve button up in the same color as the short sleeve button up? That's really tacky, bro. I'm not going to lie. Got to Got to do a different color, even like a black or something like what? Why is it the same color? Anyways, fashion choices aside, what are we what are we doing, Patrice? As long as I don't lose my life, what are we doing? I'd call it a better trade than having to go to court back home. What? What's he talking to himself about? Uh, Paimon, I don't know. Hello, are you sir? Patrice. Such good music too, wow. Where did you two come from and how do you know my name? We are the adventurers, Patrice. Let's get on with it. Wait, you aren't plainclothes Melilith, are you? Are you here to kick me out? I've already shown you my field inspection permit. 
That's more than we have. I swear to you, I did not enter any restriction restri restricted areas. If you don't believe me, go ask that black-haired, fierce-looking lady. I don't even remember who that is. Paimon doesn't know what you're talking about, but you can relax. Wait, is the fierce-looking lady Catherine? No, it can't be. We're friendly, professional adventurers. We received your commission from the guild, and we're here to help. Oh, so you're the reinforcements. Wonderful, wonderful. Now that you're here, we finally have a chance. I was going to die here at this rate. Dude, I think you're taking it a little bit too seriously. Wow, your research sounds more like torture. You know, Paimon's got a point. No, no, research itself is sacred. We sure about that? The highest calling, the thing in my way, is what one might call additional factors. Like what, sir? Well, like how I will kick the bucket should this research fail. What goes on in Fontaine? What goes on in Fontaine that you are going to be killed if you don't finish your research? I don't think I want to know, but also I, I want to know. But that... We haven't even gotten Sumeru. We're not getting Fontaine until after that. So I guess we'll know in one to two business years. That sounds like defeatist talk. That's a pretty funny one. I'll give you that. If only I were joking. What goes on at Fontaine? What goes on at Fontaine? Independent researchers must, apl must apply for funding to conduct their studies, but using them means that you'll be assuming the social responsibility that comes with their use. Yes. To spend large sums and not produce any results therefore makes you no different from a criminal deserving of judgment. I guess that makes sense because Fontaine's whole thing is- Fontaine is Hydro and hi the Hydro thing is justice. The Hydro Archons thing is justice so I guess that makes sense. But at the same time how much is that being enforced to the point where your citizens are actively like terrified to lose their life? Does that make sense? We're getting a little bit deep for a quest that is not even voice acted and is like two weeks at most. Um, but. I digress. If I return empty-handed, I will almost certainly face at least a dozen charges, including but not limited to wasting public funds and misappropriating academic resources. Such crimes will surely land me the harshest punishments, never mind the bankruptcy or the sullying of my name. If I am indeed judged, I might really die. But that sounds way too extreme. It does, Paimon! So is that why you put up so much more for assistance to help you? Fontaine sounds like a scary place. Those are Additional, or these additional factors sound horrifying, and yet they have their uses. As long as you are not considered guilty, you can enjoy all manner of conveniences. We people of Fontaine have all benefited from that system in the past. All right, calm down. We get that the situation is serious. <laughs> this research concerns your future and even your life, right? Just leave it to us. We'll get help get you out of this. And so we just go into a domain. That's the, that's the, that's the catch. As things stand, I suppose I have no other choice. What do you need us to do exactly? Yeah, I, I don't want I don't want the research explanation. Just tell me what we need to do. Yes, let's get down to it. So my research topic is called vibrocrystal harmonics. Simply put, this is the process of stimulating the elemental energy within gems and crystals and using this elemental power as a source of energy. That sounds super convenient. Paimon can totally see it being used to make practical and awesome machines. It sounds like the Sumeru thing. I forget what that was called though. We did it like, I've done it twice at least. What do these gems have to do with this vibey ratey thing you're talking about again? <laughs> I suppose these gems are the vibro crystals. What gems are we talking about? Precisely. Not long ago, when someone tried activating gems, they discovered that a certain wondrous resonance could occur between special types of gems. These gems were thus named vibro crystals. When the transmitter crystal, oh, I like, I, I spaced out on how English works for a second. When the transmitter crystal half of the vibro crystal set has been stimulated in a certain way, it will release a certain energy that will trigger a resonance with the receiver crystal half. The two energies from the vibro crystals will stack and multiply one another many, many times over. I've called this resonance type harmonics. I get that, because harmony, that makes sense. At the moment, I have reached a critical, critical stage in my work, which is verifying my hypothesis of these harmonics. I have a feeling. Paimon guesses that you'll need us to help you prove your theory by using the power of the vibro crystals to defeat monsters and prove that the harmonics association occurs. It got really bright for a second. Exactly. Why well, you're both quite bright, aren't you? I've chosen a suitable area that has a great many steel steels. I don't know. In it, mounted with vibro crystal sets. Tell me once you're ready. I will tell you precisely what needs to be tested. Just follow my instructions as you engage in battle, and we should be fine. I can't read and fight at the same time, so that could be an issue. This really does seem like we what we do all the time. I must know. Paimon almost feels kind of bored. Well, you're free to give it a shot, Paimon. Uh, Paimon, I'm a little bored too. I'm not gonna lie. I didn't 
I didn't process any of that information except for the fact that I'm gonna have to do things. Paimon's just saying that it would be great if our, your adventures were all interesting and challenging. Paimon isn't complaining. Very impressive. Liwe truly is an excellent place filled with high quality ore and highly reliable adventures. Adventurers. I don't know what he said. I suppose coming all this way to save material costs was the right decision after all. I was originally most worried about having to run over budget, but I think I shall now retain 20% of my funds even after paying commission to you. Or paying to commission you. Pay us more then. I'm upping my fee. Pay me more. Once this is done, I shall use the remaining amount to hire a news writer to publish my result. No, you're gonna pay us more. Always good to get the word out there after all. I can see it now. Behold, Patrice's true tale of the vibro crystals. Pay us more money. Full stop. Seriously, this, that doesn't sound like the title of an academic essay at all. It doesn't, Paimon. You are correct. I've read so many academic journals in the last, like, month. I'm in final season for anyone who's curious. That's that's the reason why. And I, I'm by the end of this upcoming week, I probably will have read about 10 more. So, titles must be strange and bizarre to attract the eye of the public and bring in investment. When that happens, we can even discuss bonuses. If you're paying us more than, I don't care. Have fun. <laughs> Paimon's not sure what you mean. Well, if the Vibro Crystal Harmonics effect is used to create commercial products, I shall receive a share of the profit and royalties, and of course, some of my share shall go to you. That said, this is contingent upon our research progress. See, I don't care about that part because the, this event, when this event's over, it's over. There are no royalties at all. It's all a lie. So that's how it is, huh? Alrighty, Paimon's excited now. It's fine. You can use whatever title you want. Paimon, you are salivating. You have one one love and it is Mora. Let's get this done and get it done quick. After that, we can go discuss this bonuses thing with Mr. Patrice. Eh <laughs> Okay. Oh god, I have a new mail too. I don't even know what that's for. During the Vibro Crystal Research event, you must split your characters into two parties for the challenge. Before you start combat, you may equip each party with a Vibro Crystal Harmonic Schema. Combine transmitter crystals and receiver crystals to obtain different combat buffs. Each transmitter crystal can only project its radiation upon one receiver. I don't know what the hell this is. Anyways. Each receiver can receive transmissions from three transmitters. Using different transmitter crystals to trigger receivers will increase their effects. I literally just did Theater Mechanicus before this. That video will be out next week, but I don't know what's going on genuinely. I use my brain power in Theater Mechanicus. Check the Vibro Crystal Harmonics description to see the extent to which these buffs may extend. As the challenge proceeds, successfully triggering the harmonic response between transmitter and receiver crystals will occur harmonic points. When these points reach a certain amount, the harmonic strength will increase, granting characters combat buffs, all party members' crit damage will be increased. However, if you do not trigger a harmonic response, it looks like Hyakin and Iki, I'm gonna be honest. Within a certain time period, the harmonic strength you have gained will fade. It looks like Hyakin and Iki. If there's trial characters we can use, then it's definitely Hyakin and Iki. If not, it's just Hyakin and Iki without the trial characters. I'm, I'm gonna be honest. During this challenge, you must defeat opponents that constantly emerge to obtain points within the allotted time of the opponent's of these oh my god i can't talk of those opponents nemesis will provide more points well i don't know what that is once the challenge ends you will gain different insignias these are just medals based on the number of points you gained i it just sounds like a more difficult to understand hyakin and Nikki. like world level eight hyakin and Nikki. all right so i'm gonna check what all what everything we need to do so challenge rewards this is, we are going to be doing elemental presets today gold is a score of 2000 but these rewards are like nothing to me so i would like this sage score of 1000 ideally and i i definitely think for the, especially for this first one with how other events that have been very similar to this have ran i can hit 1000 for elemental presets for sure but all in all it does look also like they might have boosted because I think in Kyakuniniki we got 60 primos. So they did give us about 10 more per stage, which is nice. Um, I haven't seen that done yet, but 500 is what we want. We just want to bronze it. New Vibro Crystal Research Stage unlocked. Okay. All right. Let's give it a shot then. I probably will be using my OG team, the Inazuma team with Ayaka, just because I haven't finished building her yet. So yeah, normal. Yeah, we're going to do it. Uh, let's try it on hard, just because I do have a, a full level 90 team. And we should be able to use that team here, because it's it's my it's my team that's very Hydra heavy, so we should be fine. We do have some trial characters. I'm thinking, because when I've run Abyss in the past, I have really done my best with only two characters per team, but because we have some trial characters, we might want to play with that. What? Fine, I don't know what's going on here. I'm just going to let it be, though. I'm just gonna do this, do the harmonics bit at random. So for 
oh, it's kind of like Hyakin and Iki, but Abyss style, if that makes sense. So what I'm thinking is we put two of my team, so my level 90 characters right here, two of my team and two of the trial characters on each team, just to kind of run with it that way. Again, I'm just gonna find, I don't know what we're doing here, but we're, I'm just gonna let it be for the crystal setup because it's so confusing to me. There's probably a way to do it, but I don't care. It took me like 20 minutes just to get through that quest bit. We're not, we're not doing it again. I just want to see, so this first half, we probably don't want hydro. We want pyro. In the second half, we want hydro for sure because we have the pyro agent. So first half, I'm going to use the half of my team that is Kazaha and we'll throw in Toma as well as we'll do the Shogun. Actually, I'm going to run it like this. Nope, run it like that. Shogun and I should throw in a healer. So I think I should throw in a healer. I'm actually gonna throw in Jean I think I'm I think this is the team I'm gonna use here just so I can have a healer because I don't want to use a hydro healer And the only he really like healer here would be Shincho and if I'm gonna use a hydro healer I might as well use my level 90 Kokomi. So the second half here Ayato Venti because I want to use Venti. I did not get him in the thing the banner I tried a little bit and gave up. We're going to throw in Shincho and Kokomi. So this is a very Hydra heavy team, but we also have Venti. It could be helpful to put Cryo in here, but the only Cryo character I have really built up is Shemha. So we're just going to run it like this. Hope for the best. Um, Part of me does want to use Miss Xiangling, but I don't know where I'd fit her in. So I think we're just going to run this and see what happens. We're just, I'm going to give it a shot. I just want to bronze it. That's all I want. I just want my, my 70 primos for the day. Thank you very much. Again, it took me like 20 minutes just to get this far. So I just want to, I just want to get far. I just want to finish it. I just want to finish it. I have to edit, I have to edit this as well as like a bunch of other videos. I just want to finish it. I also have like three papers to write. I shouldn't be doing this is what we're getting at. This is cool though. Oh, it's a little spooky. That's really cool. Okay. I like to think we just like were yeeted into the center of the earth here. Oh, if we are this glitchy, we might struggle. Hey guys, I'm struggling just a little bit. I like how... What are we even doing? I don't know what we're doing. I'm gonna be honest. This is some cool music. I've never heard this music. So I'll, I'm, I'm actually vibing with it. Boom. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, they gave A the catch. Interesting. Oh my god, she's hitting numbers. Also, I know people are going to be mad at me for how I'm using her, uh, because I don't know how she works. I don't know how, I don't know how the Shogun works because I don't have her on my team. Um, so don't come for me. Honestly. You're a little tanky, aren't you, buddy? What do we have going on? Hey, guys. Oh, hi. These guys are here. You know what that means? Uh, we're going to hit a Toma Shield, and then we're going to hit a Shogun. This is actually not that bad. And I'm doing, I just realized I'm doing this in hard. I might have been able to go up a little bit. This music also absolutely slaps. So is it timed, it looks like? Yeah, it's definitely like a time thing. Let me get that. So it's just a complete, or attack as many opponents as you can in the time given, essentially. Hello. I put Jean on this team and I generally did not even need her. I did not need a healer on this team. I don't think I think okay, you know, yep, that's it. The second half begins. I like how it's not exactly similar to Abyss there. This is gonna be an interesting team. Let's uh hit a Venti. I wanna hit Shincho ult and then let's see what we can get on Kokomi. Let me see how holy dang Shotgun Kokomi! Okay, alright, let's hit a Venti again. Venti is so cool. Kokomi, I need you back. Oh my god! Venti is insane. I'm so angry I didn't get him, but like my luck's been really good in this game. Oh hi. I got gotcha. you. Um let's hit that. Hit that. Hey, don't hit Venti. He's a god. He's a literal god. Don't hit Venti. And then we'll do that again. Venti's insane. Actually, this man is insane. Alright, we're gonna hit that. <laughs> Venti's what? I love Venti. I want to hit him again. Um, before we. Okay. All right. Cool. 
Venti's actually wild, in case anyone is curious. I love Venti. Venti is actually so cracked in this game. Hey guys, can, um, you hit E? Thank you. This is wild. Alright, cool. Let's go. I probably should hit Shingto before doing that, but it's fine. Just up. Venti, like, the, the, the void in the sky. Oh, that's too funny. Alright, let's hit Venti, like, six, five seconds. I don't think we're gonna hit 1500, but that's fine. This is fine. This is completely- Oh! Did I get silver? I don't know. That was a lot. Venti is crazy, essentially. That's the moral of the story here. Venti is actually crazy. I feel like that was a better Venti trial than the actual Venti trial. Does that make sense? That was wild. That was actually challenge rewards. Okay, it was a thousand, not 1500. Okay, cool. I mean, I definitely think I could have hit 2000, Um, but the rewards generally aren't worth my time. Like, if it was better rewards for- Like, I feel like- if you're gonna get that high of a score, they should give rewards that are worth it. Like, I don't think primos, but like rewards that make me want to do it. Like, I'm not gonna stretch to get 2,000 points for 20,000 Mora in literally three Mystic Enhancement ores. It's not even, it's not worth my time. I will be completely honest with that. Anyways, that is day one. Tomorrow, we'll do day two. Yeah, that's, that's it. That is it. Nothing super crazy. It's a standard event that they just gave a new skin. They give the events yeah, skins, but not everything else. What is this mail? Is it Apologems? Oh no, it's a web event. Anyways, that is it. My ping is going crazy. So we have to we have to be done before my ping yeets itself into the void. Yeah. That is it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. If you made it this far, comment down below. What do we want to comment down below? What do we do? Venti, Venti, eh. The leaf emojis? That's Kazuha. That's, I usually use that for Kazuha. Um, trophy emoji, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. This is even worth it. This is, I'm putting too much thought into this. If you like this video, make sure to give me a like down below so I'll subscribe for more. And click the little notification bell to be notified when I upload new ones. As always, Kazuha, I'm finishing the- You've been- You've been booted. As always, I hope everyone Hatter is having a super lovely day wherever you are in the world. I need to cough really bad. Too much- Too much playing all the parts. And I'll see you all in my next video. Stay healthy, friends. Bye, guys! Bye.